Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jordan and I'm here to do a general uh, pick a card style reading for all of you today. Uh, this is a Pisces channel, so I do read for Pisces Collective. However, I'm going to make this video geared towards anybody who wants to watch it, regardless of zodiac sign. So it is a collective message. We're going to have four readings. Uh, each of these readings is going to be symbolized, uh, represented by one of these four creatures. I've picked creatures that have like a Halloween spooky vibe in my animal deck because this reading is going to be uh, geared towards Halloween. And uh, I suppose we're taking advantage of the veil being the thinnest during this time of year um, between the spirit world and the material world. So we can learn a lot during this time from our spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. So I'm going to pull a five card tarot spread for each of these animals. And uh, that'll help us work through something that we are going through on an emotional level, as well as mental, physical, and spiritual. Uh, these five card readings are geared towards uh, focusing on a specific issue and coming to a conclusion. It's a little bit different than the 10 card tarot spread that you often see me uh, do here on, on this channel. For the 10 card tarot spread is more of like an overall picture of what's going on. This is more of like zooming in on something and uh, getting to the bottom of it quick, more quickly. So I'll let you choose from these four messages. Option number one is the bat spirit, which says a rebirth is assured. It's card number five. We have option number two. Crow Spirit, which says co-create with spirit. This is card number 17. Option number three is Moth Spirit, which says surrender now. Card number 39. And option number four is the Spider Spirit, which says make your dreams real. Card number 56. So these readings are going to be time stamped. And let's get started. Okay, reading number one, we have the Bat Spirit, which says Rebirth is Assured. Let's see what's going on with the tarot today. We'll do a quick shuffle. Okay, we're going to grab five cards. We have the Page of Cups. The Five of... The Knight of Wands, I should say. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Hierophant. And the Three of Cups. Overall energy is the Seven of Wands, reversed. So overall, this is about uh, putting down the fight, releasing the struggle, feeling overwhelmed. However, uh, your heart is ready to open up with this Page of Cups being here. I feel like someone may be uh, trying to get your attention with this Knight of Wands being here. Um, I don't think they want commitment. I don't think they know what they want at all. But what they do want is to have a good time with you. They want to celebrate. They want to be friends. They want to you know, drink and be merry. So I do feel like a specific relationship here has an opportunity for harmony and balance and joy. Perhaps it, you know, went through its trials and tribulations in the past. Maybe you had to push this person away or they pushed you away at some point. 
Um, but a rebirth is assured. Someone here is addicted to your energy, actually. Um, and uh, they have they. It's because there's a lot to learn from you, you know. Um, you have a way of doing things that's very unique. And this person likes to experiment with different energies. We have the Page of Cups, which talks about in the current moment, being open emotionally to new opportunities in love, in friendship, in uh, artistic opportunities as well. Ways to express oneself with the Knight of Wands next to it. The Knight of Wands is influencing this energy. So um, <clears throat> what's opening up your heart? Well, someone keeps coming in and out of your life. So, you know, at first you may have trusted this person completely and maybe they broke your trust. Or maybe in the beginning you didn't trust them at all. And now that you've seen them come back around a few times... You're starting to think, hmm, maybe this person is actually more serious about this connection than you you previously thought. So your walls are coming down. In the heart space is the Nine of Cups reversed. I don't know if you or this person or even both of you know exactly what you want in this connection. Um, the expectations, which is the Hierophant, is just to keep things uh, light, easy, breezy, with the Three of Cups being next to it and the Nine of Cups. Um, and try not to overcommit at this time. The outcome is happiness, joy, celebration, a good time. We have the Page of Cups and the Three of Cups, so both those cards represent friendship. So I do feel like a friendship is going to be born in this connection, which is very beautiful. Okay, well, that's what I've got for your reading. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you again soon. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for choosing this reading today. Um, we've got reading number two, option number two, the crow spirit, which says co-create with spirit. So this reading is geared towards the Halloween energies, you know, spirit messages being very clear at this time as the veil is very thin. And uh, let's see what's going on with your tarot cards today. We're going to pull a five card spread, which is all about a specific situation in your life that you're dealing with. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups. And the Queen of Cups. We have the Knight of Wands as the outcome. We do have Nine of Cups here as well, but we'll put that back. Overall, bottom of the deck energy is the Two of Wands reversed. So overall, a decision has been made. Someone really loves you, Pisces. And they know that times have been tough. For you and between the two of you as well maybe you've gone through something very difficult together maybe you've gone through it separately um, but there's a lot of empathy and compassion for each other here and that's something that you can both give each other regardless of your opinions or perspectives on the situation that has happened Someone wants to take action, whether it's you or another person, 
because I do feel like there's been an opening up here. There's an opening, a window of opportunity. Someone is being vulnerable. It's like Pisces, maybe you've made a decision to uh, no longer feel like a situation was happened to you. It's more like you're now taking control, taking your power back and um, choosing how you react to what has happened to you. So you're, you're empowering yourself. And um, you may have blamed this person. You may have complained to this per about this person. You could have been enemies at one point. But the fact is that you both went through this situation, maybe in different ways. And not, I think both of you have come out transformed and it was it was difficult for both of you it may seem like somebody had more than the other person that's for sure um maybe they had more money maybe they had more support maybe they had uh more opportunity than you did or maybe you had the more the more opportunity than the other person did But there's compassion here. And there's an opportunity to co-create with each other, to work on something together, whether it's just this relationship or maybe there's a goal that the two of you have, which is very beautiful. The Ace of Swords is in the current moment, which talks about truth, enlightenment, empowerment, breaking free from struggle, from, from uh, a certain frame of mind, having clarity of mind. The Five of Pentacles influencing that, reversed, is coming out of hardship, coming out of a difficult time. You can only go up from here type of attitude. The Six of Cups being in the heart space talks about sharing, love, compassion, a history, a connection with somebody that goes beyond um, the physical. Um, it talks about sharing. It's next to the Five of Pentacles, which talks about hardship. So it's a shared hardship that the two of you have been going through. And the Queen of Cups here is the expectation, which is compassion, the Queen of Compassion. The outcome is the Knight of Wands, which talks about activity, moving forward, um, giving something another shot, another chance. It's beautiful. I love this reading. All right, that's what I've got for your reading. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting below, and subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you again soon. Hi, everyone. This reading is for those of you who chose option number three, which is the moth spirit. Surrender now is what this card says. Excuse me, I've got the hiccups. <laughs> it's card number 39. So this card is to asking you to surrender. We're going to see what that means with the tarot cards. We're going to pull a five card tarot spread, which helps us get to the bottom of a certain issue that you may be going through or facing. It's very specific, short and sweet. We start the reading today with the High Priestess. Very much, much a moth spirit vibe, which is all about intuition. Ooh, we've got the hanged one reversed, which is the way I like it. Let's see what else comes out. We've got two cards of Pisces here. Ooh, we've got the four of wands. Wow. Something is emerging from within. Oh my gosh, we have the death card. Scorpio energy. And the Knight of Cups. Overall, the bottom of the deck energy is Ten of Swords reversed. 
hollow and empty is what I'm hearing from that Ten of Swords reversed. So you've gone through a situation where it pushed you to an extreme limit and it it you were out of commission for a period of time with this hanged one being here. It was dark. It was uh, a dark and stormy place to be. Your emotions were all over the map is what I'm hearing. Very intense feelings with that death card being here and the Knight of Cups. Um, but you're 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 brave, Pisces. You are your own hero. I feel like what is surrendering is not only you surrendering to the process, to your feelings, to your higher self, but I also feel like the universe is surrendering to you. You know, the challenges that you were meant to face in this lifetime are going to smooth out. Things are going to get easier for you moving forward because you have learned to tap into your authentic self, your higher self with that high priestess being here. And you're in alignment with your goals. You've created a foundation for yourself out of a very tough and trying sequence of life events. Do you see how the Death card and the Knight of Cups look almost exactly the same? And they're moving in the same direction? That is the epitome of going, going with the flow. You can't go any more with the flow than those two cards together. Um, it's a transition, a transformative energy, and it's all about following your heart, living within the heart space. So do I think you're destined for love in this lifetime? Yes, I do. Do I think you're destined to find what your truest heart desire is? I do think you're destined for that. There's nothing holding you back with this hang one being reversed. You've reached some form of enlightenment. So um, it might not look the way that you thought it would look. It might not feel the way that you thought it would feel. In fact, you might still be feeling raw, uh, tender. I would say just be gentle with yourself, Pisces, and allow yourself to continue to surrendering to the process. If you continue to keep surrendering, you're going to always be in alignment with your higher self, your soul's desires. The ego is, is, is continually reborn each time you let go. This is a, a skill that you've learned how to do with the High Priestess being here. The first card, High Priestess, in the current moment, talks about you know, some form of skill, talent, intuition, connection to your higher self, a spirituality with the hanged one being here and the death card, a foundation that you've laid for yourself with the four of wands, spiritually. What's influencing the high priestess, this very spiritual energy that we've been entering the reading with, is epiphany, enlightenment, Becoming unstuck. No longer sacrificing yourself for situations that don't deserve you. You're no longer suffering. Some things may be difficult in this lifetime moving forward, but you know how to move with it now with these two cards of movement here. Moving with your heart. Allowing the feelings to flow. Uh, in the heart space is the Four of Wands, which is incredible. Um, the fourth chakra is the heart. Heart is where the home, like home is where the heart is, is what this card talks about. You know, you're at home within yourself in some capacity. You have found a purpose. You're in alignment with your goals at this time. So it's very beautiful. Death card is your expectation, so you, you know that life is constantly going to expect you to change. And the outcome is you embracing this change. Actually taking the lead and being proactive about the transformation process.
taking only what you need at any specific moment and being grateful for that. I do believe you're coming out of, or you already are out of, scarcity mindset. So there's a richness coming into your life. Very beautiful. All right, that's what I've got for your reading. Thank you for being here. Hello, everyone. Welcome to reading number four. This is a Halloween themed reading. We've got the spider spirit here. Make your dreams real is what this card says. Card number 56. So we're going to dive into what this message means with the tarot deck today. We're going to do a five card tarot spread to see what's going on with a specific energy in your life. This reading is meant to be short and sweet. Let's get into it. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting below, and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of your love and support. We have some cards that have flipped up, right? We're going to take them. We start the reading with the Page of Cups. What's influencing that energy is the death card. We have the lovers in the heart space. We have the ace of wands in your expectations. And the outcome is the five of pentacles. Underneath the bottom of the deck is the page of pentacles. Oftentimes when I don't see too many pentacles, I mean the five of pentacles is here, but that's more of an emotional, spiritual type of card. Um, sometimes what I mean to say is the page of pentacles doesn't always have to be about school, learning, or new jobs. It also can talk about sincerity, kindness, and... Um, apologies you know uh being being understanding of each other so i do feel like there's an opportunity for reconciliation here that might be a dream that you have um i feel like there's been a lot of confusion with this page of cups being reversed emotionally over how to feel and what to think about a specific connection but you've been transforming and the situation has been transforming and your individual has been transforming um we have this ace of wands here which is a new beginning that's available that's possible uh but the five of pentacles here which is hardship is the outcome of this reading. So I do want to say that some type of hardship between you and an individual is going to bring you closer together than ever before. This could be some form of painful transformation that one of you has to go through and the other person has to support that person through this. There could be... Um, a big ending in your life or an ending in this person's life or between the two of you. I mean, it could be anything. Try not to imagine the worst case scenario. I'm sure that you will know what this transformative energy is or you will know of it soon. Everything's connected and you are very connected to this person. You know, and uh, there's a need to support each other during a difficult time. You may have to put your conflict, your resentment, your confusion, your mixed feelings on hold here while you step up to the plate or allow someone to help you during a difficult situation. Very interesting. The Page of Cups being the first card, the current moment. It's 
kind of all over the place, you know, emotionally. Not knowing how to feel. Not knowing how to express one's feelings. The death card here influencing that is a transformative situation. Something that's forcing you to change. An ending. Uh, the lover's card is is in the center of the reading, it's in the heart space. So there's a, a relationship here that uh, you have to make a choice over, a choice to um, step up to the plate is what I'm hearing. With the Ace of Wands being reversed, there's that opportunity, opportunity for growth in a connection with these two cards next to each other. And the outcome being the Five of Pentacles, well, it's not going to be easy. There's some type of hardship some change with the card number being five here and the death card being here. And uh, what affects you affects another person and vice versa. So if you're wondering how a situation is going to transform between you and an individual, I would say it's through compassion, support, and it might take a difficult situation. It might take hardship. That actually might be to your relationship's advantage. The universe is kind of seeing this as an opportunity for you to start anew with somebody. By lending a helping hand and by being open to help as well. Okay, that's what I've got for your reading. Thank you for being here and I'll see you again soon.